Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to share a little something something with you. A little quick thought. Experiencing supernatural love. It begins a cycle of great healing, a depth of healing, of inner confidence. It just, it really does something. You talk about empowerment? Experience supernatural love. I'm going to tell you how I experienced, how I encountered this supernatural love. I was sitting in my living room. I had only been saved maybe two months. This is back in 1981. And as I was sitting there, I was trying to practice the praying thing. You know, I, I wasn't totally in the habit of it because I'd only been saved two months. And I was sitting up here trying to pray. And all of a sudden, when I closed my eyelids, it was dark in the room, I noticed snow flurries coming down. I was like, wow, I'm looking in my lids, my lids are closed. I'm like, wow, check that out. So then I shut up, I wasn't saying nothing that interested anyway. And all of a sudden, I look around, nothing's changed, everything's the same. And I said, well, let me close my eyes and see if the snow flurries come back. And I closed my eyes and these snow flurries, oh, they're just big, fat, pretty snow flurries. Ah. Oh. And I opened my eyes once again and all of a sudden, I felt the most supernatural love. It was something that was straight out of out of out of outer space. It was nothing, no kind of love, fatherly love. Uh, lover loved, uh, uh, child loved to their parent, brother, sister, best friends, husband. It was nothing like that. Nothing like any love that I had ever experienced on the face of this earth. This love was so out of the, um, oh my goodness, how can I say this? It was celestial. It was overwhelming. It was unhuman, totally non-human. It was so supernatural, so galactic, so majestic, yet so serene and tender and kind and peaceful and sweet and quiet. Oh, I looked around to see if heaven was getting ready to open up in my living room because I knew as soon as I felt this love that this was God. I mean, it was like my whole living room was filled with God. And I was thinking, oh my, he came out of eternity to me. At that time, I saw myself as a nobody. And I remembered I was just bawling and bawling. And, and I said, Lord, for you to come out of eternity, to tell me you love me. I am somebody. I don't care what anybody else says, thinks, or, or, or feels about me. I am somebody. It was like all of a sudden for the first time in my life, I was somebody. I was no longer the nobody that I knew all my life. My self-esteem, my self-confidence, everything started from that day. And let me tell you, you can experience God's love too. You can, ex you know why I needed God. Now, some people, they know their love, they're confident, they have all that. That's not what they need unless they keep bugging God for it, which, you know, he still may show it to you. But I was in such desperate need to feel loved and, and, and wanted and accepted and approved of and when God gave me that feeling, I am trying not to be emotional because that happened back in 1981. It still has a major impact on my life now. It was God. It was all God. The scripture popped in my mind during that experience that says God is love. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I can't believe you came out of eternity to come to a nobody like me to tell me you love me. You have no idea. Being saved, giving your heart to Jesus, 
accepting the Lord into your heart, committing your life to God, developing a relationship. It's not about Bible thumping, sitting in church and singing to him, saying a prayer and hearing a sermon. There is so much to this walk with God. Please invite him into your heart. You will be amazed at the changes that take place in here. It's more what God did for me in here that counts more than anything else. What God did for me internally, the healing, the deliverance from rejection. If you could only give God a chance, if you would only pursue him and seek him for a personal manifestation, a personal touch from the God of this universe, you will be surprised as to the lingering effects. Okay, that's my word of exhortation. Seek him with all your heart. Ask him constantly to reveal his love to you. Ask him to lay his hand on you, to give you a personal experience with him, one-on-one. -on -one. You will never be the same, I promise you, once he answers that prayer. God bless you.